you're thinking about moving to Newport Beach, California, well, this is the one video you're gonna have to watch because I'm gonna be telling you all of the pros and cons from a local perspective, and I'm not gonna hold back today because if you're gonna make this move, you need to know what's the good and what's the bad. My name's Tommy Jordan, I'm your Newport Beach real estate agent. Let's start with the cons because I know that's really why you're watching, you know? It's like being on the freeway and there's a car crash and everyone slows down to see it and you slow down too because you're like, what's going on? Well, I know you really wanna know the bad stuff. So we're gonna do that first and then after, we're gonna talk about the pros and make sure you stay to the end of this video because I'm gonna be telling you some stuff you might not know and this is a big decision to move here. So you need to have all the data before you make your decision. Now, the first thing we're gonna talk about, okay, is airplane noise. Now, this doesn't affect all of Newport Beach, but it does affect some parts of Newport Beach, and that's why it's important for you to know about this, okay? Especially if you're looking at different areas to live in Newport Beach. So, this is a little chart right here. I thought this is a nice little picture for you to see the airplane path from the John Wayne Airport, okay? Now, John Wayne was one of the most famous residents who actually lived in Newport Beach and the harbor. So, here you could sort of see how the airplanes take off. They have a special procedure to limit noise pollution. That's a fancy word for it. You don't hear the airplanes when they're going over your house. There was actually a lawsuit a long time ago with the city of Newport Beach and John Wayne Airport because the planes were making a lot of noise over the houses, and we can't have that, right, in Newport Beach. So you can see a typical takeoff is it's really steep it's 21 to 25 degrees going up so it's it's twice as steep as the typical takeoff for uh, most airports okay that's why it feels like you're like in a jet when you leave john wayne airport and then they pull off the thrusters so that's the big thing you have to know about i'm not gonna get all technical i'm not some you know airplane expert so you could see right here planes take off in irvine at the john wayne airport not far away and then they start climbing right and they go over you know upper newport bay and then the back bay and go right over balboa island and then over the peninsula and they're not allowed to actually start turning um until they get past you know newport beach out into the pacific ocean departures are prohibited after 10 p.m., that's one thing you should know about this noise abatement, you know, ordinance or whatever at John Wayne, okay? And arrivals are prohibited after 11 p.m., which is great. So, you know, even if you live in one of these areas, you're not gonna have airplanes at two, three in the morning, okay? So that's awesome. Now, arrivals and departures can start at 7 a.m. So that's great, you know, you have some time to sleep in. And on Sundays, you know, hey, closed on Sundays, Chick-fil-A. On Sundays, it doesn't start till 8 a.m. There you go, you get an extra hour of sleep. I've helped people move in both of these areas. And a lot of people say, who live right over here, you have Newport Aquatic Center, you have Dover Shores along here, and then you have East Bluff, okay, and homes right here. So planes are just going right through this area to say, you know what, you get used to the airplane noise. You know, it's really, it doesn't bother them that much at all and these communities are really great communities in Newport Beach I would say you know the smart thing to do would be just to go check out these areas you know stay there for 25 30 minutes listen to the planes going over and see if it actually bothers you because I know some people are more sensitive to noise than others and the second con is that Newport Beach is expensive now this is a given I'm going to give you my thoughts on this and a little different take than you might have heard from other people First, let me show you where prices are currently at. I have a local market report for Newport Beach. You can find it down below in the description of this video. You can subscribe to it and get weekly updates for free about the city of Newport so you can really stay up to date on real estate prices. Now, let's first look at detached homes in Newport Beach. This is current at the time of filming this video, okay? So it might be different when you're watching. By the way, if you wanna learn about Newport Beach on a weekly basis, shameless plug, make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date. And also, like this video if you're enjoying this content. It really helps me grow this channel. So, median price of new listings, 4.3 million. Now. It's better to look at the median price because in Newport Beach for detached homes, you'll have homes going up to 50 million and homes at 4 million. So if you look at an average, it's gonna be a way higher average, but the median smack dab in the middle at 4.3 million, okay? So not cheap, okay, not at all. Now condos, you're gonna be looking at 1.5 million for the median price. And here are my thoughts on this. Newport Beach, 
It's an amazing place and supply and demand, right? God's not making any more coastline, any more beaches anytime soon. Okay, so there's a little supply and there's a lot of people who want to live here that raises the price. But what I'd have to say about living in a place like Newport Beach is that there's no place like it. And to live here, you have to make a lot of money. Let's just be real, okay? And to make a lot of money, you have to be good at what you do, okay? You're helping a lot of people. You're doing, you're the best at your field. And you'll find a lot of your neighbors here, just people in the community, they're the best at whatever their field was, whether it's an actor, an athlete, you know, an entrepreneur, you know, a doctor, lawyer, you have people from all walks of life that come to Newport Beach for the lifestyle, but they're going to be the best at what they do. And that's what you're surrounded by. That's the mentality. You know, Kobe Bryant lived here, you know, I mean, the Black Mamba, okay, it doesn't get any better than Kobe. All right. Now, the last con I want to talk to you about, because honestly, there's not that many cons to living here. And I would say it's the whole keeping up with the Joneses. You might have heard this, right? Or you might have heard, you know, Orange County's full of a bunch of fake people. There's too much Botox, blah, blah, blah. A lot of haters out there. Okay. You can leave your hate in the comments. I don't really care. But growing up in Orange County, right? Myself, I grew up here. Okay. There are fake people, but honestly, there's fake people anywhere, right? You could go to Ohio in a little town and you're going to find some people that are trying to keep up with the Joneses. Okay. Trying to have the best better car, the better this or that. Well, living in a place like Newport Beach, you know, you get used to seeing Ferraris, Rolls Royces, Bentleys, Mercedes. I mean, Fletcher Jones Mercedes here in Newport Beach is one of the highest selling, grossing Mercedes dealerships in the world. I'm pretty sure. I know it's at least in the US. I mean, you know, everybody and their mom drives a Mercedes, okay? So, that's just the kind of place it is. And now you will find people that might be trying to keep up with the Joneses, maybe a little too much Botox or whatever, right? It happens. But I would say overall, Newport Beach is a lot more actually laid back than you might think. You know, it is a beach town. You know, it, sailing's huge here. Newport Beach has one of the biggest non-commercial, you know, harbors in, in the entire U.S., okay? So, you know, being by the water, being outdoors, you know, it is an important aspect of life to many people who live here. So yes, you're going to find some fake people in Newport Beach, but you'll find fake people anywhere. But I still think it's a great place and you'll meet a lot of nice people. So if you've heard this con, just sort of ignore it because, you know, it's like life. You're going to find good and bad wherever you go. If you're thinking about moving or selling a home in Newport Beach, I'm helping families every single day. People retire here. People buy investment properties here in Newport Beach. I mean, it's all the time from YouTube. So don't be shy. Please reach out to me below. Call me, baby. Love to chat. That was a quick commercial break. Now, the first pro are the different kinds of lifestyles, the kind of vibes, whatever you want to call it, different areas that you could live in Newport Beach, okay? It's not just the beach. Yes, when you think of Newport Beach, you think of the beach, but there's a lot of other really great places to live. Let me explain. For example, say you want to live on the beach, on the sand, okay? You want to look at the Pacific Ocean right out, you know, your front door. Well, you could do that right here on the peninsula. Well, say you don't need to live on the sand, but you know, you have a boat, you have a yacht, you know, you have a Duffy, okay? Those are popular here in Newport Beach. And you wanna have your own private dock. You could actually live on Linda Isle right here. That's literally a private island, okay? It's gated and have your own dock and just go right out into the harbor, which is amazing. Say that's not for you. Say you don't want to be on the sand. You don't want to be on the water. This is like my wife, unfortunately. <laughs> but hey, I love her. Love her regardless. She would rather live, let's say, somewhere over here in Newport Heights, maybe somewhere on King's Road, where... You could still see the ocean, you could see the boats, you could see the harbor, see the Pacific Ocean, but you're not like right there on the water. Or say you want to live somewhere inland, say you have a family, you know, your kids want to, you want to be walking distance to a great school. You could live somewhere on in East Bluff, okay, with Corona Del Mar High School, Middle School, or you come over here right by Fashion Island where amazing shops and restaurants are, and you could live in the Port Streets where literally there's an elementary school smack dab in the middle of this community, okay? I mean, that's the thing I'm talking about. Newport Beach, there's so many different 
lifestyles you could live within the city. And that's what I think one of the great things about it. It's it's so diverse geographically where, you know, you don't just have to be on the beach. Now, the second pro I want to talk to you about that goes with the first are there's just a lot of things to do in Newport Beach. That's one of the things that makes this city so special. For example, a lot of people think you think Newport Beach, you think about, oh, just going to the beach. But hold on, wait, there's more. This is like an infomercial, okay? You could, if you're into cycling or you're into, you know, running, well, you could go right here to Upper Newport Bay in the Back Bay. This up here is actually an ecological reserve. Some of the best bird sightings in the U.S., okay, or bird sighting, but there will be a lot of sightings there. Okay, sorry, I'm cheesy. Here we go, the Mountains to the Sea Trail and Bikeway. You could find it right here on East Bluff Drive. And there's awesome views of the back bay going towards the harbor. I mean, it's amazing. Or say you like to shop. Well, let's go over to Fashion Island, which is awesome, by the way. Outdoor mall where you could walk around, go to Nordstrom's, Bloomingdale's, whatever you're into, you know, buy some, you know, new purse, bag, clothes. There's a Lululemon, okay? That's great. There's also amazing restaurants. Like for example, down here at Corona Del Mar Plaza, there's a restaurant called Gulf Stream, which is amazing restaurant. So you have world-class dining as well in Newport Beach, okay? What else do we have in Newport Beach? Well, if you don't, if you wanna go a little further, you could go over to South Coast Plaza, okay? Right over here over in Santa Ana, okay? Yes, it's Santa Ana, but it's still a good place to be. Now, you wanna buy your Loro Piana cashmere sweaters that cost like five grand? This is where you go. So that's what I'm saying. Newport Beach, there's so much to do, whether it's outdoor activities, like if you want to get your kids into sailing, you go to Newport Sea Base, you could get your little tyke, or we call them groms out here by the beach, okay? That's that's a little local insight. And you could get them, you know, learning to sail. I mean, they have a lot of pretty imagery here. You could see right on Mariner's Mile, okay? And they could learn to sail. Say you want to rent a kayak. Well, you're going to go over to Newport Aquatic Center and you could rent a kayak. You could rent a stand-up paddleboard. It's right here at the back bay. And, you know, that's something you could do. So between the shopping, the dining, you know, the outdoor activities, going to the beach, you know, during when surf is really big, you go down here to Peninsula Point to the wedge. And they the waves are sometimes like 20 feet um, because of, uh, you know, the jetty that comes out here. You know, that's a really fun thing to do. So you got options here in Newport. That's why it's $4 million for a detached house. Now, the next pro I want to talk to you about is that this is a great place to raise a family. There's a lot of really great schools here. If you go to greatschools.org, you could find schools like Roy Anderson Elementary located in the Port Streets, East Bluff Elementary School. Let me show you some of them on the map. You could find, if you go to Newport Mesa Unified, kind of the school zones right here. And then also, you know, just do some Google searches. You could find the different areas, okay, of um, say if you live on, people typically say, you live east of the bay or west of the bay, okay? That's like a local thing where you live, you know? Um, so east of the bay would be like East Bluff. West of the bay would be, you know, Dover Shores, you know, Newport Heights, this whole area, okay? Costa Mesa side of things by Newport. Now, let's talk about some schools, right? Say you have a family, okay? You want to be by amazing public schools. Yes, Newport Beach still has good public schools. You can't say that about a lot of places in California, but Newport Beach has them. So you live in East Bluff? Well, boom, Corona Del Mar Middle School and High School right here, okay? That's amazing. You have East Bluff Elementary School, so your kids could literally walk to school, and it's still safe to do that, all right? And we actually have, you know, one of the highest rated, okay, private schools in the U.S. Now, this is located in Newport Coast, which is actually a part of Newport Beach. Same thing with Corona Del Mar, if you didn't know that. Sage Hill High School, if you want to pay college tuition for your kids' high school, but have them go to an incredible school. I mean, what school website looks like this? I mean, the kids are playing tennis. How bougie is this? But it's one of the best schools in the U.S. Boom, you got that too. So private schools, public schools, 
Newport Beach, one of the best places to raise a family and put them in school. Now, the next thing you might not have thought about is there are really amazing churches here. Now you have permission to click out of this video if that offends you. I'm just gonna be myself here on this channel and I can't do that unless I be me, okay? So a lot of great churches, that Jesus Revolution movie you might have seen, okay, in theaters. All right, Calvary Chapel started right over here in Costa Mesa. It's one of the biggest movements in Christianity. Okay, right here in Costa Mesa, which is great. Also, Mariner's Church, which is located, you know, not far away in Newport Beach. Um, actually, it borders Newport over here in Irvine, but it's like almost Newport Beach, okay? You have Newport Coast Drive right here. You just take Bonita Canyon. Mariner's Church is like one of the best churches in the U.S., started by Kenton B. Shore, now Pastor Eric Geiger, Geiger, I think that's his name. Sorry if I got it wrong. But he's now the pastor here, and he's a great pastor. You have Oceans Church, which this is one we love and we go to, okay, located in Irvine, not far. I mean, Saddleback Church, Pastor Rick Warren, you might have heard of his book, you know, Purpose Driven Life. So, you know, you might not go to church, but hey, this might be a good time to go because Newport Beach is surrounded by a lot of amazing churches. And you know, you might not like church, but hey, you know, Christians, you know, they still believe in wrong and right. And it makes your city a safer place. Now, the next pro we have to talk about is the weather, because this is one of the things that make Newport Beach one of the most amazing places in the world. And I'm telling you, I've been to South of France, the Mediterranean, you know, been to South America, Central America, you know, all around the world. And it's very hard to find a place as special as Newport Beach with all these things. And one of the things is its weather. It's very temperate weather. It's not really hot. It's not really cold. It's just like the three little bears. The porridge is always right in Newport Beach. Okay. Let me show you average temperatures, okay? In Newport Beach, the summers are short, warm, arid, and clear. Winters are long, cool, and partly cloudy, okay? So it doesn't rain here that much, which which I don't want to say it's a good thing because California, we could use the rain sometimes, but it's sort of a nice thing, okay? You're not like you're in Seattle where it's like raining all the time, all right? Now let's look at the weather, okay? So January, February, March, you know, the highs are in the 60s, 70s okay the lows are in the 50s all right let's go into the summer months you know the highs are in the 80s at the most you know maybe if it's really hot it might be 90 but usually 79 that's right where it's going to be and then the lows are 66 so this makes it an amazing place because even in january february where it might be cloudy all morning long and then usually about two or three o'clock the sun will come out for a few hours and you have a pretty sunset and then the sun sets okay around four four thirty five okay even in the winter months where you know you get the marine layer because you do live by the beach you know living in newport beach you're still not having to shovel snow you could still be driving down pch in your convertible that's like one of the most amazing things about living in orange county living in california right just being able to have a convertible right um like like that's some pro like like really one of you are watching and you're like oh i have a convertible i have my porsche 911 i have to live in newport beach i mean i don't know maybe one of you are thinking that if so great but i'm just saying it's an amazing place partly well not partly i would say mainly mainly because of the weather in the beach and all these other things but the weather really plays a big role living in newport beach newport beach is a very safe place okay and very clean drive around newport beach you know newport beach the city the mayor you know they run a tight ship here keeping the place very nice for its residents okay that's one of the things i love about it i love you know being here with my family because it is safe it is clean you know you don't have to be on guard all the time maybe like living in a big city now let me show you newport beach recent recently had their national night out and this was awesome took the kids to this they had food trucks they brought um police officers from all the different like divisions like the police that are on the peninsula with the horses um they they had like games for the kids i mean what other city does this for its residents oh yes we saw the little dog right there that was fun the police dog i mean newport beach it cares about its policemen its firemen and i think that's important you know you want to be in a community that cares about that kind of stuff because you know if if someone's you know 
trying to rob me. I want to know, you know, the police are going to come and actually help and care and have a fast response time. Okay. I don't know if this is like politically correct to talk about, but I don't know about you, but I want to live in a safe, clean city. Now, if you're thinking about moving or selling here, please contact me below. I'm seriously helping people every day move to this incredible city. And if you want to watch more videos on Newport Beach, click this playlist right here. And don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos on Newport Beach. Thanks.